is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm just going to be talking about some of the books that I've read recently. I did film like a January TV, not TBR, a January wrap up. Uh, however, I didn't upload a February one or a March one because of reasons. I don't know. There's an update video if you want to check that out. Uh, which I really appreciate all the support I've gotten on that video, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> but for today's video, I want to talk about some books that I've read in the past few months. So this year, I'm probably just going to do recent reads just because who knows how much I'm going to read a month. Like it could be nothing. Like there was a month, I think it was April, I read nothing. <laughs> so February and March, let's talk about what we read. <laughs> First here, I have Homebody by Rupi Kaur. I have read all of her books so far, all of her poetry collections. This one does have some content warnings for depression, sexual assault, rape, anxiety, and abuse. So please keep that in mind before picking it up. If any of those topics are sensitive to you or you don't want to read about them, then fair enough. So keep that in mind. This talked a lot about like the past and the present of oneself and then like the potential to grow as a person is what this kind of collection focused on. It was also illustrated by the author and it had some good themes in it as well. Those themes were like nature versus nurture and like light and dark kind of imagery. So that was pretty cool. I did enjoy that about this. Favorite poetry collection by her is Still the Sun and Her Flowers. I would rate like I rated that one the highest. I recommend that one the most. But this one was still good, just not as good as that one. I'm, I still enjoyed it, but I'm glad I didn't buy like a physical copy just because I don't feel the need like to have a physical copy of it. It wasn't like my favorite or anything, so like I'm okay with not having a physical copy. But I ended up still giving it a 3.5, so it was still good. So if you're interested in it, I would suggest checking it out. Next is a short story. So this is a Poe story. So this is the cask of Amontillado, I think is how you say it. Like I sometimes I'm not great with pronunciation, but I try. This story is so fun. Like I love the atmosphere. I love being in the crypts and in the caves. It, oof, like in terms of atmosphere, this story just like kills it. So this was like more of a gothic tale. There was like a revenge plot. Also like just a really gullible character and someone who takes advantage of that and gets their revenge. And it, it was, it was really good. I really, really enjoyed it. Plus I really love Poe's writing. I'm definitely like a big Poe fan. So this was, I was really happy to read this. I've read it before, but I got to like study it for class, which was nice. I ended up giving this one like a four out of five. Uh, I still loved it. So yeah. Next we have a few plays. So Oedipus at Colonus is one of them. I read Oedipus Rex in high school and thought it, like I really liked it. Like <laughs> if any of you were around or like you could probably find the video of me saying how much I really liked Oedipus Rex. I thought it was really interesting and I, uh, you know, the Oedipus complex is very interesting in general and interesting to study, but also um, cool to read about. So I, and I really like Oedipus as a character. So this is the sequel to Oedipus Rex. I thought it was pretty solid. I don't think it was good as the first play, but it was still like enjoyable. So I gave that one a 3.5. Antigone was the next one that I read, which this is the third and final book in that series or play in that series. So this one does have some trigger warnings for suicide, so keep that in mind. I thought this was an amazing end to the trilogy. I loved reading these plays. I love the author's like writing style and like I really enjoy reading Greek tragedies. I think they're really interesting and a lot of fun. I also just really loved Antigone's character. I thought she was phenomenal and I loved seeing her grow and I, I loved reading about all of the family dynamics and it was just really interesting. So I gave that one a four to five. So I would recommend checking out the Oedipus series, I guess. I don't know exactly what the series is called, but I would recommend it. It was great. Next year I read Seven Against uh, Thebes. So I much prefer this author's other series as opposed to like this book, but this was still about Antion and Ismen and like them getting introduced to seven new people. And so of course I really like Antigone, so I was down for it. It was still enjoyable. It just wasn't like my favorite. So like I definitely preferred like the Oedipus Rex and that kind of thing. I still thought it was good. I ended up giving it a three out of five stars. Next up here, I have Shine Your Icy Crown by Amanda Lovelace. I did get sent this by Andrews McMill Publishing. Thank you so much. They sent me a finished copy. I was very happy about that. I've read this twice now, so this was a reread for me. I just really love Amanda Lovelace's work. This is the sequel to Shine or Glass, the Glass Slipper one. <laughs> but this just has beautiful illustrations, beautiful poems. It's very feminist. 
it does have some tr trigger warnings, so I'm gonna just read those off to you quick, but it's abuse, toxic relationships, sexual assault, eating disorders, self-harm, suicide, and trauma. So please keep that in mind. But So it deals with a lot of heavy issues, but I absolutely adore Amanda Lovelace's collections. Like I love the little illustrations throughout them, and I love, like they're so simple, but they're so cute. I love the illustrations, I love her poems, I like that she's um, a feminist and a witch, and it's, I love it. It's like, I will buy anything that she writes and read it, so yes, I give this one four out of five. <laughs> Next here I have Later by Stephen King, so I finally read a King, uh, I haven't read one in a little while, so finally. But I do have a whole review video up for this, so I'll link that. I would love it if you guys would check that out. Basically this book follows a boy named Jamie who can see dead people and his mom's girlfriend is a cop, so they kind of drag him along sometimes to like talk to the dead people and find out why they died. And the story just kind of goes from there. Um, it's very interesting. There, again, there's a lot of trigger warnings. I will, I mentioned it in the review video, but I, I want to say it again just for people to know, but it was death, bombing, self-harm, suicide, alcoholism, substance abuse, rape, abortion, motor vehicle accidents, and incest. So keep that in mind. Uh, like I find it really important to say trigger warnings or content warnings, just so people are aware of what they're getting into and you know, kind of what the book's going to be about. So yes, I did quite like this one. I ended up giving it a four to five and I'll have that review video linked up on the screen. Okay, lastly here, we have The Truth of You by Ian S. Thomas. So I really like this author's poetry collections. I've read quite a few of, quite, quite a few of them, but this one was good. It mostly talked about like anxiety, death, and depression. So that was like kind of the main focus. So just talked about relationships, romance, and mental health. Just thought these poems were kind of simple, but they had a good message. So like, I'll read one of them. Um, the one of them that I liked was the people who need your help are often too tired to ask for it. Offer it anyway, drowning doesn't always look like drowning. Like that's simple, but just the last line that's like drowning doesn't always look like drowning. I love that. And that is so true with like depression and so many other mental health um, and so many other mental illnesses. So I really like that one. And then the sunlight says, sometimes you fall in love like snow falls at night, gently, quietly and gently covering every part of you. And the next day the world looks completely different. And that is how I fell in love, like snow. I thought that was so cute. I dropped my phone. Well, that's the end of the video anyway, so that was all the books, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and like this video, I really appreciate it. I also have a bunch of other social media if you want to check me out on any other platform. I have been streaming a lot on Twitch, I have Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads, all of that, so that will all be linked down below as well, including like world issue cards and uh, Black Lives Matter information, so that is all linked as well. But thank you guys so much again for watching, and I'll see you super soon!